Hello and welcome to this course on Hortonworks Data Platform Administration. My name is Sijish and this video I will show you how to upgrade Ambari. So we can upgrade Ambari server and agent separately. As a first step, you have to configure the repository. So either you can go ahead with the local repo or internet based repository. So this is the version and I am going to create a local repository for my installation. So go to the Hortonworks documentation and select the version that we are going to upgrade. So I'm selecting the latest version at the time of recording and it's a 2.7 and go to the installation document and get that public repository and go to that Ambari repository. And from here, copy that repository URL that that is the tarball URL, copy that URL and use wget and download it. So it takes some time to download. So this file is relatively larger. Okay. And once it's downloaded, you can see it's a 2.710. Unzip this and keep it into slash var www.html. So this is the location where I kept all my previous repositories. And this will create a new directory with the name 2.710. So go to that directory slash var wwhtml ambari and go to the centos. Inside that you can see the new directory that we have created just now as part of unzipping. And go to the directory inside until you find a repo data and copy that location. Okay and slash for www.html you can skip that part and uh, just get the la latest uh, I mean the last directory name only that change has made from the previous version so go to the Ambari repo and update the latest repository location so this is 2.710 so this time I have completed this configuration changes on one of the host and before doing anything so make sure you stop all the services so better before upgrading so stop all ambari server and agent package so now upgrade this ambari server package by using this m upgrade ambari server command so this will upgrade ambari server packages that we have already installed and you can see some warnings and you can ignore that so once it's upgraded so you can do Ambari server upgrade command and make sure you have a proper backup of all the databases before upgrading because there may be chance like your database got corrupted. So make sure you have a proper database backup. So after that we can start Ambari server service. Okay, so it takes some time to start the service. Okay, so once it is started, then we can go ahead and uh, stop Ambari agent. And this we have to do across all the host. So this is a three node cluster. So node one, node two and node three. I'm going to stop Ambari agent on all the host. Then after that, just do upgrade Ambari agent by using M upgrade Ambari agent. So this will upgrade this Ambari agent package. So here also you can see some warnings. You can ignore that and uh, we'll go to the second node also and uh, try to do this M upgrade Ambari agent. So here I have not updated Ambari repo file so that is the reason it's saying uh, no packages marked for a update. So I'm going to etcmrepos.t and opening the Ambari repo and change that base URL location to point the latest version of Ambari we have uh, uh, I mean the copied. So we can get that details from the Ambari repo file that we have already created on uh, node 1. So 
so make that change and then do yum upgrade command to upgrade ambari agent So once that is done, we will go ahead and upgrade the agent on node 3 also. So before doing that, let me update this ambari.repo file to point the latest version of ambari. And here I use node 1 as my file server and uh, I'm just doing again yum upgrade on node 3. Yum upgrade ambari agent. So this will upgrade Ambari agent package. So once this is completed, I can uh, go ahead and start Ambari agent service across all these three hosts. So I'm just starting Ambari agent start command to start this Ambari agent service. So now do the same command on node 2 and node 1 also so now come back to the node 1 and use ambari agent so whatever the nodes available you have to execute this command so here in my case i have only three hosts available so once that is done i can go ahead and log into the ambari web ui using the default admin credential admin admin and uh, so we can now verify that uh, from admin about and verify that latest version is available 2.710 so that's it we have uh, completed this ambari server and agent upgrade so let me know if you have any questions thank you